Hey everyone, Daniel here, back to you with another video. Today we're gonna look at Pro Trailer Backup Assist setup. How we uh, are gonna set up the trailer to work with the uh, knob that we have on the F-150. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to measure and how to set it up. It's a simple process. It takes a minute or two, maybe 10, but uh, it shouldn't be uh, such a hard process. So I wanna show you how to do it. I have a uh, 60 foot trailer. I have F-150, uh, it's a crew cab, and I'll show you how to set this up. But before we do, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video, and share also. If you have a comment, leave it down below. So, let me show you this card right here. The truck comes with the card, comes with the sticker that you're gonna have to place on the trailer. So, <clears throat> this is the card that the car comes with. It uh, gives you all the measurements in here and you can actually write them down. But basically you have to measure A, B, C and D. But before you do that you have to place the sticker at a certain uh, distance from the hitch. So if you have an A-frame you're gonna have to be in the green zone. If you have a, a straight trailer tongue you have to um, be also in the green zone. So let's do this uh, together. All right, step number one, we have to place the sticker seven inch between seven and 22 inch from the center of the ball. So let's see, um, from seven now, the way my trailer is built and I put this plywood right here, it's really weird because I have this tap right here. There's a lot of weld built in here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, first step, you're gonna have to clean this up really well. Give it a good wipe. I'm gonna peel the sticker. Let's say seven inch. All right, we're gonna place it right here. I can't go this way because I have this plywood, but I'm gonna go as close as possible. I'm gonna push this down right here. Give it a good wipe, make sure it sticks on it right. It's, it's gonna have to stand against the weather. All right, we got seven inch right there. Okay, the other step that we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do some measurements, as you can see in the sticker. So we're gonna measure from the license plate to the ball. So from the license plate to the ball right here. <clears throat> and my measurement is 15 and a half. So we're going to say measurement A, 15.5. Alright, <clears throat> measurement B, from the ball to the center of the sticker. Mine is 9.5, 9.5. And then why do we write this down? Because we're gonna have to enter this into the computer, in, into the truck. Okay, measurement C is the distance from the rear view camera to the center of the sticker. Okay, measurement C we're gonna do from the camera to the sticker right here. Go down, measure this up. Have about 36 inch. All right, we have measurement D. So measurement D is if you have a single axle, you're gonna measure to the center of the wheel. Or if you have a double axle like I do, you're gonna measure 
in between the two wheels. So we're gonna do that. All the way to here, to the back of the tailgate. And I have about 186. All right, my measurement, it's 186. All right, so with these measurements that I have down, we're gonna have to go into the truck and then put that into the computer. Okay, so now that we have all these measurements in here, all right, so we're gonna have to do, press this button right here. This is gonna come on. We're gonna go to dashboard. And we're gonna say add the trailer and Press OK. We're gonna select uh, the default uh, brake type. We're gonna go with medium. Also, we have a conventional uh, connection, not a fifth wheel, not a gooseneck. Uh, this truck does have uh, blind spots. We're gonna set that up also. Blind spot across traffic led. Um, okay. All right. Now it's asking me: Is the width less than nine feet? and the length less than three feet uh, 33 feet and we're gonna say yes add the trailer blind spot enter trailer length this is a 16 I have a 16 footer it's not a 15 is not 21 so I'm gonna go with 18 okay Add a trailer backup, set up trailer backup assist, yes. Now in here we're gonna get a message that says drive forward to straighten trailer. Okay, we drove forward a little bit, we're gonna press OK. It says shift to park to continue setup. We're gonna shift to park. All right, press OK. All right, so now it's gonna uh, ask us the measurements that we did. So my measurement A is 15.5. Wait, 15.5. All right, measurement B, we have 9.5. That's minimum, okay. Measurement C, we have 186. Uh, I'm sorry, 36. 36, okay. And measurement D, I have 186. All right. Okay, we're gonna select confirm. Trailer backup says locating sticker. So now it's looking in here locate that sticker that we put on okay and then we have a message again check trailer view on center display okay we got yes pro trailer backup assist trailer setup complete measurements are saved okay locating sticker please wait okay drives forward to calibrate okay and then we have in here also the same message, Pro Trailer Backup Assist, drive straight forward to calibrate. Okay, system calibrated, drive straight forward to calibrate. All right, calibration complete, shift to reverse to activate. All right. We go reverse. We get another message here. Back up slowly, turn knob to steer. Let's zoom out a little bit. We're in reverse. All right, so we hit the knob and we're steering. So this is the process on how to set up the, um, the trailer backup assist. One thing that I wanna show you is how easy it is to do this. Now, 
in the beginning is not going to be easy to control with the knob uh, and then the reason for that I'll show you right now is let's turn this camera so if you look at this the knob has the knob stays in the center all the time let's zoom this in here the knob stays in the center all the time so that means your steering wheel it's gonna stay in the center all the time right so if you want to turn a little bit you can't go to the max so let me show you what it does when you go to the max so when you go to the max the steering wheel is going to turn all the way the other side you see if you leave it it goes back to the center so you have to if you want to turn just a little bit you have to turn it off just a little bit like that and the other way also if you if you turn really quick the car is gonna go crazy now the nice thing about it is the fact that when you back up and you want to go straight you don't have to turn the wheel whatsoever all you have to do is hit the knob reverse hit the knob and then the car is going to go straight and let me demonstrate that right now right now i'm not touching the steering wheel and, and i'm going and the car just goes straight same in here yep the car just goes straight that's the nice part about it another interesting thing is that if you go to drive your uh, trailer uh, backup set is going to stay activated if you don't if you don't drive faster than five miles or six miles per hour so you can actually drive forward with the thing still being activated like for example i'm going to turn right now I'm still going I'm going like three or four miles an hour it's still activated okay now that I'm straight almost straight okay I'm gonna back up now so what I'm gonna have to do is just go reverse and uh, I get the message in here I use the knob to steer all right so let's see if we can um, back up the uh, trailer with the knob like so we're gonna have to go around that corner and kind of do an S so you have to be really careful with the knob steer very very slow one thing that I have to say is when you steer the knob and you want to keep the trailer in the same location you have to keep the knob here if you steer a little bit and you're uh, planning on going in the same same trajectory you have to keep it there if you leave the knob the steer is going to go straight and you're going to miss that trajectory so you have to keep the knob consistent in the same location all right backing up Not the best filming, but you got the idea we're around the corner. So again, if you turn the knob a little bit and you let it go, 
the steering wheel is going to go back into the center so you can't just turn and let it go you have to you have to keep it in the same location for you to be able to steer where you want to go same way the other way now of course uh, the knob is really nice it's just really really finicky so you have to uh, take your time and learn how to use it it's really nice in tight corners but again if you want to keep a certain trajectory you have to um, keep the knob in that location because otherwise it's gonna let the move the steer back to the center it's really nice when you back up it keeps you straight not a problem with that so it's really nice about that all right well guys thanks for watching uh, remember to subscribe hit the notification bell and give me a like we'll see you in the next one bye